This school year has faced extraordinary challenges and problems posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Sangan National High School, together with its faculty and staff, had hurdled a lot of obstacles as well. From activity sheets and modules reproduction, script writing, video making and editing, reaching out to students through different social media platforms and even taking risks in conducting home visits to check on learners' progress or to encourage them to continue their schooling despite the situation we have right now. Our learners have their own share of trying moments too. It is undeniably hard to learn on your own most especially those students who were working during the day and burning the midnight oil at night. Truly, when you plant something and work hard for it, on harvest time, you will gain what you have worked hard for. To our dearest completers, graduates, and to their proud parents, today, it's harvest time. You will reap the fruits of your hard labor. And yes, you deserve it. Let this virtual completion and graduation ceremonies be a reminder to all of you that wherever and whoever you will be in the future, you can look back onto something that will affirm how you have persevered and overcame difficulties for you to become successful. And so today, we welcome you all to the 2021 Completion Program and 46 Commencement Exercises of Sangha National High School with the theme, Strengthening Quality Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic. To start with, may I request everyone to please stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and this will be followed by a prayer to be led by Mariel S. Arconada with honors, grade 12 Humes and the singing of the Pasi City Hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Let's bow down our heads and feel the presence of our Lord. Almighty God, we praise and thank you for your love, risen from the grave and freely offered from us all. Thank you for this special day where we are virtually gathered as one to celebrate our success and achievement. We pray for all the graduates and completers. May they feel a sense of achievement and their qualification and great excitement about their future. 
thank you for this opportunity to learn and grow. Be with us as we celebrate the achievement of our studies. Come, take our skills and gifts that we celebrate today. May each student know your presence in their lives and understand how to use their abilities for your glory and kingdom. And may we all continue to live lives of learning and discovery, and in doing so, create blessings to the world. Deepest gratitude to all those people behind this event, to our parents and guardians, teachers, classmates, and to you, our Lord, that made of these things possible despite of the pandemic that is currently happening in our country. We also thank you for guiding and protecting our dear frontliners and battling this pandemic. And may you heal our land and heal those people who are affected with the virus. We pray not only for our graduates but also to all people to be filled with courage and strength and facing their day-to-day -day adversities. We give you all the glory and honor, O oh Lord, through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Sa pumuluyo, magpisang kagmataho Pintigyan ka sa Diyos na magkakagraho Turo na ang iyo'y ang nagliligan Kapag waay na luna, tubo pang ka Ang uluyo mo ba ay Sa 
Dreams are written, and the written words will just come to life to become a colorful reality by those with brave and determined hearts. Now, let us listen to Russell J. P. Edombingo with honors, Great Ten Siegel, in his opening remarks. To our active, supportive, and hardworking schools division superintendent, Dr. Jose M. Gomez, and Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Mr. Ernesto F. Cervillion, to our beloved principal, Dr. Jose Reggie P. Balahadja, to the teachers and staff of Salnia National High School, to the parents, guardians, graduates, and completers, a pleasant day to all of you. Aristotle once said, The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. The process of learning isn't easy, especially in this time of pandemic, where learning is not favored to everyone, and that includes me. I've experienced a lot of difficulties in my studies. There was even a time where I couldn't understand the topics written in the modules, but I do not complain about it because I know that it is part of my game as a student. What I did was, I asked help from, from my classmates and to someone who can explain to me the essence of the topic. I kept on seeking help from others until I fully understood not everything but at least the thought of the lesson because I believe that asking questions isn't bad at all. What's bad is keeping silent as if you know everything even if you don't. These difficulties didn't affect my, de my determination to learn. Instead, it motivates me to study harder. Now, it's a time to reap the sweet fruit of our hardships, struggles, and hard works all throughout the year. Today, not everyone has made it to the top. Those who did are the ones called cream of the crop. To our awardees, congratulations. And may your success inspire everyone to do their best and aim for greater success. To those who didn't make it, do not despair. Keep trying and study harder. What's important is, you did your best. With that, I congratulate you. To the parents and guardians, who are the real winners, congratulations also for a job well done. Before I end, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to my parents for the never-ending love and countless support, both financially and emotionally. To the teachers and staff of Salangan National High School, thank you for sharing your knowledge, for the patience, as well as the most of your time to mold us into what we are right now. To my friends and classmates for being part of my junior high school journey. And above all, to God Almighty for guiding me every day and for answering all my prayers. Life is a never-ending journey. So to the graduates and to my fellow completers, keep in mind that what we achieve now is just another step closer to our goals. Remember that there's still a long way ahead of us. Keep moving, study harder, dream bigger, and do not settle for less. Always do your best in everything you will do. Thank you. Keep safe, congratulations, and welcome to the virtual 46 commencement exercises in 6 completion program of Salman National High School. This time, let us listen to the messages of our supportive and dynamic principal too of Salga National High School, Dr. Jose Reggie P. Balahadia, and of the Regional Director of DepEd Region 6, Dr. Ramir B. Oitiko. Good day to everyone. To the completers and graduates of BATS 2021, congratulations. You just aced another milestone of your life. The school year 2020-2021 was a tough yet a challenging one. We are faced and forced to adapt the so-called new normal. Students don't come to school and teachers don't teach in the classroom. Instead, 
you employed self-learning at home with the guidance of your parents. Teachers printed self-learning modules for your parents to get from school and gave this to you. To some extent, if your parents were not able to get these modules, teachers were obliged to deliver right to your houses. Despite the situation, you managed to overcome such trial. Your courage and dedication to learn, despite the learning setup and the pandemic, is conspicuous, yet you survive. This only proves that nothing can become a hindrance for a student who's in pursuit of quality education and you've done the best. You embody resiliency, bravery, and robustness, which are quality of a true Filipino. I would like also to congratulate the parents for this success of their children. Their success is your success too. Your undying support to help us provide students a quality education was one of the reasons why they are flipping another chapter of their lives now. To the teachers of Salga National High School, your passion in teaching is unsaleable. You have given your best in order to nurture every student's potential, mold their talents, and give quality education. To end, continue pursuing your dreams and ace higher. Have courage, be fearless, and dominate. Bring everything that was taught to you, all the wisdom, knowledge, and virtues as you go through your journey. Enjoy the beautiful long journey ahead. Look forward for the bright future. Start achieving your dreams. And don't forget to look upward and kneel to thank God above all. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us a look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Elan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life. An embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Depend Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayong ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay! Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. 
At this juncture, we shall have the recognition of the academic awardees for the school year 2020-2021. For the grade 10s academic awardees, we have Mrs. Rovi A. Alido, Teacher 1, Council Chairman. And for the grade 12 academic awardees, we have Mrs. Mary Grace A. Lorca, Master Teacher 1, Council Chairman. I am greatly privileged to announce to you the Academic Awardees of the Grade 10 Council for the school year 2020-2021. With honors, Agudon Tresha May A. Arconada Marian S. Datuon Rolian P. De Jesus Shania Denise P. Idombingo Russell Jade P. Labiaga Resume C. Padernan Irel Grace M. Palumar Rochelle May P. Samintar Narciso Jr. R. Sutiar Saizen N. Tabasa Meets M. Congratulations! I am privileged and honored to present to you the academic awardees from the Senior High School Department for the school year 2020-2021. With high honors, Iwa Grico P. With honors, Alagos Decent Faith T. Alarilia Maria Dina P. Alejandro Gypsy Marie C. Alivar Kimberly P. Arconada Mariel S. Ayalen May G. Botyong Saina Jane S. Fadolione Feliza May V. Hamiro Janine B. Lapidante Ellen May P. Librero Kristen May P. Pacardo Leia L. Tagulong A.G. Mark A. Palomar Roberto Jr. D. Palomar Ron Mar B. Piraro Jun Saibel E. Rigalario Damilin P. Teaching is not a profession. It is a passion. At this moment, Salga National High School would also like to recognize the love and service given by her teachers through the years. Thus, the Service and Loyalty Award is given. The citation reads, Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Region 6, Western Visayas, Schools Division of Pasi City, Salga National High School, Barangay Salgan, Pasi City, Iloilo. Loyalty Award is given to In grateful appreciation of her Years of service, dedication, and active participation towards the attainment of deep admission and vision Given this 4th of August 2021 Signed, Jose Reggie P. Balaharia, Ph.D. Secondary School Principal 2 Nelia R. Beloria, Teacher 1, for 10 years of service Mary Ann P. Palma, Teacher 3, for 25 years of service Leia B. Doliete, Teacher 3, for 30 years of service And Alma P. Balete, Retired Teacher 3 for 40 years of service. Now, Dr. Jose Reggie P. Balaharia will present to us our candidates for completion and graduation. This will be followed by the confirmation of completion and graduation by Dr. Maria Leni F. Pamposa, Education Program Supervisor 1 in English, Schools Division of Pasi City. Dr. Marialene F. Pamposa, 
Authorized Representative of the Schools Division Superintendent, Schools Division of Pasi City, I have the honor to present to you 205 candidates for completion, 105 of whom are males, 100 of whom are females, who have satisfactorily completed the requirements of junior high school, and 111 candidates for graduation, 64 of whom are males, 47 of whom are females, who have satisfactorily completed the requirements of senior high school prescribed for the secondary schools of the Department of Education. They are now ready for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority delegated to me by the school's division superintendent of the school's division of Pasi City and upon the recommendation of your school head, that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the senior high school curriculum under the basic education program, I now confirm your graduation this fourth day of August 2021. Congratulations! At this point, we shall have the presentation of each junior high school completer by their respective advisor, and this will be followed by the presentation of each senior high school graduate by the respective advisor too. It is my privilege to present to you the grades and dub completers. Agrabio Kimar P. Alaro Andrian P. Casipe Rinier P. De Los Santos Jeros Lee G. Elemanau Jet P. Estacio Brian John V. Estacio Rechi V. Estacio Richard Jr. V. Estacio Lujen P. Gihulngan Risologo Jr. I. Hutai Jerson B. Hutai Joven T. Luzanias Reno M. Magbanwa Joel T. Pacardo Jaylon T. Paklibar Cyril D. Paderna Hernito Jr. C. Pagan Roy Vincent J. Palermo Neil Jun P. Parinas Sherwin B. Sisteni Rod Christian B. Sol Justin T. Tabacoldi Mario Emmanuel A. Trivenio Marlon D. Alarilia Gina Jean P. Ardania Vanessa M. Aritanio Jenilyn M. Berbania Rosli A. De La Cruz Jilin A. Falalimpa Generos S. Flores Mylen A. Gassis Fretch G. Giraud Abby Grace D. Gonzales Mary Queen T. La Viste Erika C. Diasos Lovelin C. Luzanias Ria Jean M. Paklibar Ana May C. Padernal Argilin A. Padernal Jeros Jean P. Pagdato Danica B. Panes Clea A. Panes Rizel Ann C. Parenio May M. Patinio Welvid P. Peraro Trisha E. Perez Sandara Jean B. 
I am proud to present to you the Great Ten Eagle Competitors for school year 2020-2021. Aguilar Richard Jr. B. Alarilia Archie B. Alvarado Raymark C. Archaga Rustom P. Baling Anthony G. Butchong John Lloyd P. Butchong Romar A. Cordero Roland J. Ino Sami V. Gardose Rino Jr. M. Gumban Curl John G. Magarso John Mark L. Maliorca Jether J. Maliorca Rodiniel S. Mission Louis John P. Navara Edwin Jr. B. Pacardo Jeron D. Pachico Ivan A. Panisales Sami A. Puyong Felix V. Puyong Jonathan G. Puyong Rudy B. Samantar Gerald R. Samantar Narciso Jr. R. With honors. Tikao Kenny J. B. Alarilia Mariel P. Alias Mary Love G. Duchong Christy Nicole P. Casaria Charina Catlea S. Castellanes Sampaguita P. Castor Luis Ann P. Castor Shine P. Cepeda Queenie L. Eugenio Jovel D. Gumban Joylin G. Hoplo Alisa P. Masibulan Catherine Joy A. Mission Sweet Pauline Grace C. Samantar Nova D. Tabasa Meets M with honors. I am happy and proud to present to you the Grade 10 AL Completers. Kamatura Romulo Jr. V. Datuon Rollin P. With honors. Galvez Genre Q. Hiner Kent L. Habonilio AJ Zia D. Hagolina Jimwell A. Hawili Ivan S. Leonico Clay J. G. Moiko Rajan A. Padernal Seth C. Palermo Ken J. A. Palmes Dave A. Penuela Jomar R. Cuello Nico A. Selinar Jeffy Kent B. Tamayo Eric S. U. Steve Lucky M. Agnes Isel P. Agnes Trixian P. Asis Miles G. Basilio Jemima P. Kajon Queen Riza M. Diaz Narlef P. Labo Roslyn Joy L. La Unio Lady May P. La Unio Lady Marie P. Montano Mary Joy T. Onofre Genevieve P. Pabilona Laika D. Pacardo Lenny L. 
Padernal Elmi Joy A. Padernal Heidi T. Padernal Rose Ann S. Padernal Rosemi S. Padillos Margeline D. Palma Erica E. Palmes Sunshine A. Palomar Aika May L. Palomar Sheila Marie B. Panizales Erica May P. Piad Anamea B. Penuela Melian F. Porcal Alea D. Ramos Genevieve P. Salinap Jeline C. Tidios Renalin C. It is an honor and privilege to present to you the home leaders of Grade 10 Parrot. Blessed Denmark B. Pilete Jan Marvin T. Cartagena Edmond M. Cartagena Irvin M. Katipunan Brian G. Yusala Arnold A. Garboza Larry Jr. C. Jimenez Ronel A. Maprangala Raymark C. Padernao Jemuel P. Palmares Jimbo M. Palomar Neljan V. Palomar Novi D. Patino Reynaldo Jr. P. Sangyon Riniel G. Valenzuela Edwin C. Aguilar Eden G. Alarba Clarish N. S. Kapunitan Nia Grace G. De Jesus Shania Denise P. With honors. February Melrose A. Hidoria Celine Joy D. Pinturo Rina Jane P. Labiaga Resume C. With honors. La Madrid Nika Mariel S. Magalona Jetriel C. Pagado Jilin D. Pagado, Joyce J. Palabrica, Lori May L. Palmares, Ira Joy P. Palmares, Kyla May P. Palomar, Rochelle May P. With honors. Pama, Nepsi Marie T. Paracale, Claudine M. Tabanao, Joylin A. I am proud to present to you the Grade 10 Seagull Completers for the school year 2020-2021. Agnes Kian S. Agudon Irvin L. Datuon Christian B. Idombingo Russell Jade P. With honors. Fantilanan Joseph P. Gonzalez Chanmark A. Labiaga Ronel P. Labordo Chan Fernan S. Labordo Chan Stephen S. Laxinto Eduardo Jr. P. Libriro Chan Ray P. Ornido Kebrayan C. Pacheho JV C. Pacheho Norlin Ken S. Pagado Joe Marie J. Palma Jorin C. Pamunag Gerald S. Pamunag John Lexter S. 
Puyong Leonard A. Silunar Renz D. Sutiar Saizen N. With honors. Valenzuela Brent Chan G. Valenzuela Laurel G. Agudon Aisa C. Agudon Tresha May A. With honors. Arconada Marian S. With honors. Castor Solina J. Cornell Kian Marie G. Desales Sandy P. Diaz Mary Grace J. Idumbingo Regine A. Escora Rachel S. Haina Phoebe G. Hagurelis Nasrin Ann G. Jimenez Allen May G. Padernal Iral Grace M. With honors. Pasagde Anne Marie P. I'm happy and proud to present to you the Grade 12 General Academic Strand Graduates. Aguilo John Mark G. Alemania Jason P. De Jesus Lionel John H. Edombingo John Ryle P. Falalimpa Jerome L. Habilero John Ray B. Hagulina Janelle A. Labiaga Ronel C. Laurente Giselle P. Pagaypay Ken Ayan S. Pagulong Edgemark A. With honors. Palma Jackson A. Palomar Ronmar B. With honors. Teraro Jun Saibel E. With honors. Silionar Jerick D. Silionar Joffet S. Swarnaba Jobert L. Sumagpao Mark P. Victoriano Noemi D. Agpalsa Ronajin J. Alejandro Gypsy Marie C. With honors. Ardania Pauline M. Ayalen May G. With honors. Baco Jessica D. Barua Ella Andrea. Butchong Saina Jane S. With honors. Kanyete Injil G. Katikista Jonalyn P. Galido Ivy P. Giganto Mary Angel D. Herbaliga Mary Love G. Herbaliga Rolly May S. Hamero Janine B. With honors. Magbanwa Jessa P. Manaay Joylin P. Palomar Sweet Don D. Anes Rika Grace G. Tabasa Rose A. May I present to you the graduates of the academic track under Humanities and Social Sciences Trend. Agnes Shan Briggs D. Agudon Ephra M. L. Avila June Albert M. Basilio Jomel P. Casas Adrian Jovel E. Cassis Hyacinth John P. Castillon Priniel John D. 
De Vera Mark Ruel P. Fantilanan Vincent P. Gidoria Paul Kenneth D. Gonzales Eric D. Herbaliga Fredeloy D. Hibiro Joel Jr. H. Mabale Mark Jan A. Mission Larry June P. Ornido Rolito C. Pacheho Wilmar P. Palma Kian Christopher D. Palmes Christian P. Palomar Michael Jan P. Palomar Roberto Jr. D. With honors. Parenio Eljan P. Salaza Edel J. G. Saminta Rodel D. Sartaguda Nathaniel A. Tabanao Ken Andrew O. Trevenio Merdan Ken D. Agrabio Trixie Marie P. Alagos Decent Faith T. With honors. Ambrosio Rachel Ann. Arconada Mariel S. With honors. Kapunitan Alan Joy C. Fadolione Felisa May V. With honors. Fernando Remelin P. Habonilio Jacqueline Rose D. Katipunan Florence D. Lapidante Ellen May P. With honors. Lastrado Cheesy B. Padernal Rona Jean F. Palmes Lara O. Palmes Lovely May A. Palmes Roselyn A. Palmes Shanimar A. Rigalario Damilin P. With honors. Silubrico Russell May P. I am proud and honored to present to you the graduates of Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood Track, Home Economics Gen. Agodon GLC. Biroga Renebel C. Castor Jiven P. Iwa Grico P. With high honors. Hilvaliga Christian Ken D. Hilvaliga Kiven S. Gonzales Jerlyn P. Gumban Janrel V. Gumban Sweden G. Mallorca Edsel J. Margati Jashin Vic P. Padernal Julie Junior L. Palermo Riniel H. Palma Terence Oliver F. Palmares Ronel Junior P. Poticar Marcelino Junior P. Sistini J. Mark V. Tabacoldi Ryan Mark A. Alarilia Julissa A. Alarilia Mariadina P. With honors. Alemania Jelajin M. Alibar Kimberly P. With honors. Viliena Maria Angelica G. Gonzales Cresel Ann P. Labiaga Tricia Ann E. Librero Preston May P. With honors. Pacardo Lea L. With honors. Tidjos Anaros C. Congratulations to all the completers and graduates. 
Successful and unsuccessful people do not vary greatly in their abilities. They vary in their desires to reach their potential. Let us listen to an inspirational message to be given by Rico P. Iwag, Grade 12 TVL, with high honors. I dreamed of writing a book but do not know where and how to start. Not until I have come across a quote saying that the best story that you could share to everyone is the story of your life. To our supportive and proactive Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Jesse M. Gomez, to our Energetic Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Mr. Ernesto F. Servillon, to our dynamic and enthusiastic Principal 2, Dr. Sir Reggie P. Balahadia, to the faculty and staff of Salangan National High School, to the viewers, completers, and to my fellow graduates, a pleasant day to all of you. I was about to open a book which includes a story of inspiration and how an innocent person became who he is today. The first page of the book describes a boy, age of 13, who entered Salangan National High School and get amazed by the structures and new faces he has seen. A lot of maturity, courage, enthusiasm, and power is what he has in his bag in order for him to overcome the fear and doubt that he has in mind. The boy needs to look for a friend whom he could be with for the rest of the school year. He has found a lot and he feels comfortable now. He began to show up the reality of him, which not everyone is aware of. He is known for being that innocent boy who answers when asked and won't say a thing when his opinion wasn't needed. He was then recognized to be at the top during the end of the school year, and this gave him the motivation to be outspoken and loud with his thoughts and ideas. The next page of the book was about his second year of being a student at the same school. He started the year full of confidence, expecting to be recognized again. He studied a lot more and aimed for that gold fruit of the tree of success, but he failed to do so. He managed to overcome with that situation and was able to continue dreaming and aiming for greater success. Pia Wurzbach joined many times in Binibining Pilipinas before getting the crown and won the title as Miss Universe 2015, and so the boy is. He may fail this time, but will keep on moving and striving hard for what he is aiming. His third year was in another page, and this tackles about how he falls in love for the first time and got his heart broken for the first time also. He forgot about the recognition he was aiming, not because of love, but because he realized that life is not a race to finish, but a process to be enjoyed. He still does his best to all his exams and performances, and rewarded at times for doing things amazingly. Another page was when he was challenged to be the president of the Supreme Student Government on his fourth year. His experience about leadership isn't that vague enough in order to be the best. He managed to give service but still wasn't enough for everyone. He received criticisms and bashes but ignored it because it is not his priority. He managed to organize certain programs but wasn't as successful as what he had expected. He received grades like 74 and 75 because he does not know how to manage his time and forgot about his priorities. That exact scenario made him realize that you cannot serve two masters at a time. But it was not totally the worst year because in that same year too, he was hailed as one of the outstanding Pasinon young leaders and did bring honor and recognition to his school. Life is like a balancing beam. When you know how to control things and factors which may affect your life, you will reach the end in God's perfect time. His first year in senior high school was the one he enjoyed the most. He was able to explore and hone his skills and talents. It wasn't as tough as his past experiences, 
but he has learned a lot of things from a lot of people who wanted to give him support and motivation. Pandemic hindered the boy to go on with his second year in senior high and brought him to a situation where he isn't comfortable with. He managed to answer his modules and was able to attain his place as valedictorian. And today, the boy will be the happiest person in the world and the luckiest one to deliver this inspirational speech to all of you. The boy in the story is no other than me. This year was tough for each and everyone because of the current situation. The battle against this invisible villain isn't easy. Everything is affected, especially our education. But this exact situation proved that we are unstoppable and not even a pandemic could stop us from achieving our goals and aspirations in life. I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to the completers and to my fellow graduates. Congratulations for making it this far. This isn't yet the success that we are aiming, but a stepping stone to reaching those dreams we have. Let us not forget to thank ourselves, our parents, our teachers, and above all, our God Almighty for keeping us safe all the time and for being our protector. Let this endeavor be an inspiration to all of us to reach for bigger things and more success. Let not the pandemic stop you from proving your worth and always show the world what we can do to contribute to progressive Philippines. Thank you also to my parents for giving me everything I need, may it be financial, moral support, or anything else. Thank you for not giving up on my attitude at times. You are and you will always be the reason for why I am doing all these things. From the bottom of my Potterhead heart, Ma, Pa, Madamo Gid, nga salamat. For all their sacrifices and perseverance to hone us into what we are right now, thank you so much to the teachers who have taught me a lot of lessons, may it be academically or life lessons, which I could use to my next journey as a student. May you always have the courage and patience in order to mold the next generation into better, greater, and more successful kabataang Filipino. To my friends and to everyone, thank you for making me live a significant and meaningful life. To my classmates, thank you for letting me experience all the things that we've been through. You will have a space in my heart and you will forever be a friend to me wherever our destiny will bring us. As I was about to end the story of how and what I am as a student and close the book where my journey was written and engraved, may this serve as an inspiration to each and every one of us to start writing the story of your lives because this may serve as an inspiration to the following generations as well. Let your story of success be heard and move a heart of a young person who needs a motivation to dream and aim for success. Our life is a series of challenges and endeavors. Always remember that success can still be found even in the darkest of times. If only one remembers to have courage, determination, and motivations in life. Padayon kita sa pagdala sa inspirasyon sa isa kag isa. Thank you. And a good day to each and everyone. This time, Gypsy Marie C. Alejandro, with honors, Grade 12 Gus, will lead our graduates for the Pledge of Loyalty. Fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge of Loyalty. We, the graduates of Class 2021, do solemnly pledge to be sincere, compassionate, loyal, and dedicated citizens of our country. We shall carry the name of our alma mater wherever we are, whatever we do, whoever we may become. We shall grasp every opportunity, strive to do good, and be freedom-loving Filipinos in every way. We shall live fully to profess our faith, our ideals, and dedicate our lives in the service of God, our country and people, in the spirit of truth, justice, and love.
So help us God. At this juncture, let us listen to the message of the Secretary of the Department of Education, Secretary Leonor Magpolis Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents So congratulations.
world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next but you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work, because the kind of curriculum you survive and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious 
especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work. You can proceed for further studies. You can help your parents. And you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do, God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Boring uniform, unadjustable tie, different kinds of shoes, many sections, many classrooms. One best friend, one favorite teacher, definite bench sharing partners, too many crushes, one school, million memories.
There's a time when I remember Surely, good times come and go, but the school memories will last forever. May all the wonderful moments you have experienced, and most of all, the valuable learning you gained from Salangan National High School, be forever engraved in your hearts and minds, wherever life will bring you, our dear completers and graduates. Let us now listen to some congratulatory messages coming from the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, VP Lenny Robredo, and from the Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Pasi City, Dr. Jesse M. Gomez. Magandang umaga and congratulations sa faculty and staff ng Salingan National High School to all the parents, relatives, and friends who are here via online streaming at higit sa lahat sa grade 10 at grade 12 graduating class ngayong taon. Sigurado akong proud na proud ang buong pamilya ninyo. Kahit physically distance ang pagtatapos this year, it is still a day full of meaning and joy. Dahil hindi lang tungkol sa diploma ang pagtatapos. Today, we celebrate you, your families, and how your love for one another helped you grow into the person you are today. The next stage of your journey will be exciting. Meron sa inyong pupunta ng senior high school while there will be those who will move on to college. For the grade 10 students na magtatapos ngayon, ito siguro yung first time na hindi kayo pare-pareho ng subjects ng friends ninyo because of your chosen tracks. For the students moving on to college, you will meet new teachers, new classmates, and get to immerse yourselves more in the fields you have chosen. In both cases, all of you will now take a more active role in shaping your own future and the future of the country. Pagkakataon din ito para pag-isipan ng mabuti kung anong klaseng mundo ang gusto nating galawan at iwan para sa susunod pang henerasyon. As you celebrate, take this time to pause, breathe, and reflect on the deeper questions. Paano ba natin haharapin ang ganitong klaseng pagbabago? How do we relate to one another in a post-pandemic world? Given that we are shedding so much of our old life ways, paano natin masisiguro na yung susunod na mundo mas patas, mas ligtas, at mas maayos kesa sa dati? Dito nagsisimula ang tunay na trabaho. 
lalo na for young people like you, with imagining and striving towards a better normal. And from where I stand, bearing witness to crisis and the undaunted spirit of the Filipino, I remain sure of one thing. The only way to approach this future is to move forward and look outward. Kumilos ng pasulong at palabas. Pasulong, ibig sabihin, ibuhos ang buong diwa sa anuman ang ginagawa ninyo ngayon. Devote yourself fully to the task in front of you. Seryosohin ang bawat subject, kahit hindi natin favorite. Magdasal ng taus-puso. Help one person, fix one broken thing, fill one gap, move on to the next, and do it again. Mula doon, one sure step at a time. We begin to find anchorage again. Palabas naman, lawakan ang saklaw ng malasakit. Ituring ang bawat kapwa kahit hindi kakilala bilang pamilya. Dahil ang totoo, this is a crisis that affects us all. And it will continue to affect us and our loved ones well into the future. Kapag mas malawak ang malasakit natin, mas matibay ang nagbibigkis sa atin. Ito ang paghuhugutan natin ng lakas para harapin ang mga hamon hindi lang ng pandemya, kundi ng mas malaking gawain ng nation building. Sigurado ako marami kayong mga gustong gawin at makamit sa buhay. In the years to come, you will take your place as this country's next generation of engineers, scientists, teachers, and lawyers. You will run your own businesses or be experts on the environment who will lead the way to more sustainable systems and practices. Baka yung iba sa inyo will be poets, singers, and artists who will capture the spirit of this time so that those who come after may draw from a deeper well of wisdom. There is no reason to put your dreams on hold. This times, in fact, challenge you to pursue your dreams with even greater tenacity and a far wider vision of who these dreams are for. Yourselves, your future children, and the generations after them. I look forward to all you can become and to all the good that you will do as we build a better normal bound by our shared dream of a more prosperous, peaceful, just world for every Filipino. Maraming salamat and congratulations. Good day to everyone. My warmest congratulations to you dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. Your determination and perseverance brought you to this successful milestone. We at the school's division office of Pasi City are really honored to be part of your accomplishments. Though these past several months were struggles for both of us, we delivered quality basic education to you. And you, your parents, guardians, or family members responded with patience and hard work. With God in our midst, coupled with the never-ending support of our school heads, teachers, parents, and stakeholders, this school year was courageously faced and successfully completed. We have tried and succeeded in strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. Even with very little money to spend for your distance learning, we were able to make education accessible to all learners in this division by producing video recorded lessons for those who have gadgets and providing printed modules for those without gadgets. Had we chosen only the printed module learning modality, it would have cost us a lot of money for the paper, ink, and labor, and we did not know then where to get all the money for this. To you future leaders and nation builders, we admire you for your diligence and cooperation. You fought until the end to be able to achieve your goal of finishing your grade level. Your victory will surely inspire other learners who still have doubts, fears, and weariness about schooling at this time of the pandemic. 
we know that along your way, you met various new and quite different problems. But look at yourselves now. You are here in a celebration. You overcame all the challenges. For that, we commend you for not giving up, for striving more and working more. If you have survived the abnormality of this school year, we are sure that you can defeat any other obstacles ahead of you in your next journey. With this in mind, we would like to commend everyone for making this school year safe and learner-friendly, especially our teachers, parents, and guardians for the extra hard work they have expended as a sign of their love for the children. We have been working as one in making positive things to happen. Let this celebration remind us all to remain hopeful despite uncertainties and humble and thankful to God amid victories. As we always would say, basta pasinhon matutong gani kampion. Ang resulta may katawayan kagkalipayan sa aton mga eskwelahan. Thank you, congratulations, and God bless. Now, let us welcome Mrs. Yofemia A. Sumbiro, Head Teacher 3, for the acknowledgement, announcements, and important reminders. My heart rejoices with you all. Dear graduates and completers of Batch 2020-2021, Despite everything you have gone through this school year, you have succeeded and reached this far. Let me also acknowledge those who made this school year possible and smooth sailing for our school, Salungan National High School. These are the people who were dedicated and committed to help us in carrying out the modular distance learning. Thank you very much to all our parents who untiringly supported their children's education for your weekly attendance in our school to get the modules. Thank you, dear learners, for bearing with the kind of learning modality that we have this school year. Despite the difficulties, you managed to finish. Thank you to all our stakeholders, alumni, city and barangay officials, for the never-ending support. I also would like to especially mention the support we get from ABS-CBN Foundation, Programa Hinyo, for all the school supplies, especially for the Rizograph that really made the printing of modules easy and fast. Perte gid kadoro nga salamat. And last but not the least, salamat gid sa WNS Global Services Philippines Incorporated. Through WNS Cares Foundation and through the effort of Miss Angelica Sumugod, our alumni for the voluminous school supplies given to our school in support for the modular distance learning. We deeply appreciate all your efforts, support, and love to Salga National High School. We thank you for being our partner in this mission. We pray for more blessings. Thank you very much and may God bless us all. Permanence, perseverance, and persistence, in spite of all obstacles, discouragement, and impossibilities. It is this that in all things distinguishes the strong soul from the weak. To all our completers and graduates of the school year 2020 and 2021, once again, congratulations at mabuhay tayong lahat.